Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another pick a card for you today. This is really a pick a pile. Um, our topic today is five year life predictions. So we're going to be looking at three distinct categories, love, family, and career and finances. So basically we're going to be taking a look at what uh, might be going on in your life in those three areas um, five years from now, okay? And this is just going to be based really on like your current path, the trajectory that you're on right now. The future is changeable. None of these outcomes are going to be guaranteed. And also these are just general readings, so they're not going to more than likely not going to resonate 100% with everyone who watches them. So, we have five piles of cards to choose from. This is going to be an oracle reading. I have all oracle cards in these piles. Uh, if I feel like I need clarifiers for anything, then I will pull some tarot cards. So, pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four and pile five. For pile one, we have selenite. For pile two, we have fluorite. Pile three is orange calcite. Pile four is opalite. And pile five is aventurine. So I will give you guys a couple moments to make your choices and then we will get started. All right. Okay, pile one. We are going to start off with your career and finance cards. So what's going to be going on in your life five years from now on that front? First card we have is the crumbling. It says, what are you clinging on to? Second card is emotions are running high. And the third card is be bold and make the first move. So, these cards are talking to me about like a major shift in terms of your career or financial situation. I think generally speaking for you guys, this is going to come probably in the form of you guys moving into a totally new, very different direction career-wise, okay? This card, The Crumbling, this is talking to me about something coming to an end, okay? This is talking about, you know, it says, what are you clinging on to? So this is talking about something ending that you may be a bit fearful to let go of. So you... I kind of feel like a lot of you are going to be in a place where you're going to be feeling very dissatisfied in your work. You're going to be feeling not fulfilled by the work that you're doing and you're going to you're going to have this feeling like you know there's something else out there, there's something better for you, but you may be a bit reluctant to actually take that step and you know, make that first move into something different, into a new direction, okay? And emotions are running high. This is talking to me about you kind of intuitively knowing where you're meant to be going, but 
you know, this card again is talking to me about like fear, it's reluctance, it's uncertainty. Um, so whatever you're doing career-wise currently, I feel like five years from now, you're going to be at a place where you are going to start moving into a different direction. And this doesn't mean that you need to start thinking now about something else in your career, because what you're doing could be what's right for you at this time, okay? But in the future, what they're saying here is that more than likely you're going to be pushed into a new direction, you know, you're going to be called to do something else. Um, but I do feel like for most of you, where you're at now is good. Where you're at now is fine. Where you're at now is, it's serving its purpose for you. So don't feel like you need to start, you know, thinking about what else can I do? What other direction should I go? Um, because really what these are saying is that you don't need to worry about that yet. Okay. Um, so that's what I have as far as your career situation five years from now. I do see you being um, financially stable, um, not like swimming in money, but you know, having enough to provide for yourself, having enough to do the things that you need to do and do some of the things you want to do. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm not seeing you guys being filthy rich in five years, but, you know, maybe later on down the road, that will happen for you. Um, I also get this feeling like a lot of you, the direction that you're going to be pushed into is going to be more like, I want to say, people-focused. Not in the sense that you're going to be interacting with people a lot, you know, but in the sense that it's going to be based around helping people. I, and I want to say, like, for a lot of you, I want to say it'll be something related to, like, social work, counseling, mental health, something of that nature. Some kind of position where you're going to be helping other people to make improvements in their lives, to better themselves, something of that nature, okay? And of course, with this being general, this is, it, it's hard to say specifically um, where you're going to be going, but that's the impression that I get. That's, that's a fairly strong energy that's coming through for the majority of you, okay? Um, and if you're thinking, like, I have no interest in that type of work in any of those fields, you know, that that may be how you feel now. Five years, five years from now, you might have a totally different perspective. You know, a lot can change in five years. Um, so, that's what we have. Um, next, we have cards for your... Um, overall like family situation five years from now so are you going to have children what's your family life going to be like etc first card that we have is the seer follow your intuition message in a bottle reversed and loyal heart also in the reverse so this is interesting because we have two cards that are talking about intuition the seer is pretty self-explanatory. Message in a bottle. In the upright position, this card talks about communication, specifically communication from the universe, from spirit. And in the reverse, it can be a sign that someone is ignoring the messages, the um, signs that are being given to them from spirit. Okay, so it's, you know, it can, it can tell us that someone is ignoring their intuition. All right, so uh, with the loyal heart card being here reversed, in the upright position, this card is really about, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's about loyalty. It's about devotion, you know, and, and love. Um, in the reverse, however, it usually is a message that you might be you might be remaining loyal to something or someone that isn't deserving of your loyalty. You may be putting your devotion in the wrong place. So 
what these cards are talking to me about is letting go of something that isn't serving you and knowing intuitively that you need to do so, but perhaps ignoring those signs. So as far as, you know, this being related to a family situation, um, I don't really see this being connected to like children. Um, not to say that you won't have children, but um, in that in this time frame, but the the main message that's coming through here is that I feel as though those of you who picked this pile might already have some issues with your family relations. And this could be like your parents, your siblings, extended family members, etc. Um, I feel like for most of you, you probably already have issues with you know, your family connections, and what these cards are telling me is that about five years from now, you're going to find yourself in a position where you're going to be led into a different direction. Maybe you are going to be, you know, maybe your family is going to, is, is toxic, and you know, you're going to get to a point where you're just kind of sick of it and you know you need to, like, detach. But, you know, the fact that they're family, it makes that kind of difficult. Um, or perhaps, you know, spirit might just be leading you in a totally different direction. Maybe, you know, even geographically, you may um, be led or you may have an opportunity to, like, move to the other side of the world. And that could... You know, that could definitely cause tension between uh, you and your family members, but, you know, what the message here is that what you're led to do is going to be the best thing for you. And if you have to distance yourself, if you have to completely detach, um, that, you know, that might be for the best. Um... I want to get a couple of tarot cards here because I feel as though there is more that they want to add. We have the Two of Cups, the Two of Swords. And judgment, which is number 20. So that's another two. <laughs> so, okay. Some of you guys are going to have two children at this point. And I feel like if that's the case, they're going to be total opposites. Judgment, though, is also talking about awakenings, rebirth, like major changes and new beginnings also to some extent. So this is kind of emphasizing, you know, this is, this is talking more about that detaching from things that aren't serving you, letting go of the old to embrace the new, to embrace what the universe is calling you to do. If you, um, and this isn't to say that all of you who pick this option have bad family relationships or you will have bad family relationships. This is basically just saying, you know, I feel as though there's going to be something happening where you're going to be pushed into a direction that is going to lead you away from your family members and there's going to be some difficulty there. However, the message is that in the end it's going to be for your best interest, okay? And who knows what the circumstances of your family situation uh, may be leading up to this point, you know? Um, this is just general, so... Okay. 
so that's really all I have for you um, as far as your family situation five years from now. Finally, we are going to take a look at your love cards. So the first one we have is religious factors, very soon, heart to heart conversations, and only time will tell. So these cards, first of all, um, the religious factors card, this is talking to me about divine guidance. This is talking to me about spirituality. Um, I feel as though you are going to be involved with someone that is probably going to be a soulmate, somebody that the universe is going to put onto your path. If you haven't met this person yet, I think you're going to very soon. Um, some of you, though, already know them. You might already even be in a relationship with them. Or it could be a situation where you are in separation from this person right now and, you know, you're you're separated. There's going to be kind of a waiting period before this person resurfaces in your life, before communication starts back up, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. This is about communication. This is about open and openness and honesty. Um, so I think for a lot of you, this is talking about someone you're separated from currently. And this is saying that they're going to be put back on your path relatively soon because it's 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 guided you know it's meant to happen and hmm here's the thing though i don't really see There's the world. Okay. Page of coins. And justice. I don't really see there being a major serious commitment for most of you. For some of you, yes. That's what justice in the page of coins are talking about. But for a lot of you, I feel as though your relationship with this person is still going to be kind of in this page energy. Still kind of underdeveloped. Still kind of you know, having potential to become more substantial, but not really quite there yet. So, um, as far as your love life goes, pile one, um, you know, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with some kind of high level soulmate or twin flame thing. And <sighs> unfortunately, I do see there being, I, I do see you and this person going through some cycles together, perhaps, you know, periods of communication and then periods of separation again. Um, however, I think by the time we get to this five year mark that we're looking at, there is going to be more balance, there is going to be more stability there, and possibly um, a, a union with the world card. But this card is kind of saying, like, only time will tell. You know, it's it's going to be a matter of time before this happens. So I think that by the time we do get to this five-year point, this, um, this relationship will be not new, but I want to say new in the sense that it will be kind of just getting started for real. Does that make sense? So, uh, group one, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this was insightful or, uh, 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 and interesting. Um, I can't talk. I have no idea what that was. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope this resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I can't wait to see you next time, guys. Okay.
pile two. Let's see what is in store for you guys five years down the road. So we're going to start with your career and finance cards. We've got three of them here. We have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. That's an interesting phrase. Um, nothing is yet set in stone. And it's time to take action. So I feel as though career-wise, a lot of you are going to be in a position of guidance. I feel like you're going to be guiding other people in some capacity. So maybe teachers, maybe counselors, something of that nature. Um, with uh, this card, it's time to take action. This, you know, new moons a lot of times represent some kind of new beginning. I'm not seeing this as you, like, just starting out in a particular career. But I am seeing this as you having an opportunity to take some kind of action within your career to move forward, to progress, to advance, okay? Nothing is yet set in stone. This is about, you know, the fact that you are the creator of your own destiny. You write your own reality. Um, this is talking about you really just kind of taking life by the horns or taking your career by the horns and um, doing what you want, influencing it in the way that you want it to be. Does that make sense? So career-wise, I am seeing you guys making some advancements um, in a career path that you're either in, you're either on this path now or you will be getting onto this path in the near future within the next year or two. Um, and like I said, for a lot of you, I feel as though it's some kind of guidance position where you will be helping other people, teaching people things, you know, something of that nature. Um, and just really having an opportunity to, like, take a step forward, to move forward, to gain some higher level of authority at, in the workplace. Um, and as far as, like, financial success, I do see you guys being successful. I do see you having a lot of financial stability. I see you, I see a lot of you living in, like, the suburbs in one of those very, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you have, like, driven through like a planned neighborhood before and you know what kind of houses I'm talking about but I'm seeing you guys living in that type of environment of a lot of you um and so having a great deal of stability and I'm also getting a lot of family vibes already so let's go ahead and take a look at your uh, family cards this cards we have for your family situation first we have the shield you are safe from harm we have the fates and we have not for you so this is interesting so the shield card this does talk to me of like small children um, so I do feel like five years from now you're going to have at least one relatively small child. <laughs> you may have children already. If that's the case, then you're probably going to have another one. And this is also showing me just, you know, a very comfortable home. A spacious home, a comfortable home. A home where you are going to feel safe and protected, um, where your family is going to feel safe and protected. I see you living in a very safe neighborhood. Um, like I said, I feel like it's going to be one of those, you know, suburban planned like subdivision type of deals um, for a lot of you. Um, if that's not your gig, you know, I mean, this is just general. so you don't have to move into a neighborhood like that. You know, that's not really my gig personally, but um, whatever. So 
I'm seeing that kind of environment. I am seeing, you know, a small child. I'm seeing, like, cereal all over the floor. I'm seeing a sticky high chair tray. Uh, very, you know, very toddler. Um, so, like I said, if you already have a child, I feel like you're going to have another one by this point. If you don't have children, obviously, I see this being... I see that happening for you. For some of you, this is, this may not be a biological child that you're going to have. This could be an adopted child. It could also be someone, the child of someone close to you, like a close family member or a close friend that you may find yourself taking care of, that you may even find yourself like, um, having custody of okay so not all of you are going to actually be having a baby <laughs> some of you are going to be taking on someone else's baby um and i think that's what this card is talking about not for you this isn't saying this you know this isn't talking literally like something isn't meant for you this is talking about how for some of you this child that's going to be in your life is not may not necessarily be your child like literally however i feel like it is going to be a situation that is kind of meant to be you know fate is not limited to romantic relationships or you know partnerships fate can also determine Fate can determine any kind of relationship. So I feel like whether this child that I'm seeing is biologically yours or not, it's going to be a relationship that is fated. Okay? So this kid, whoever this kid is that's coming into your life that you're going to be, that you're going to have with you five years from now, this is... A child this is a relationship that's going to have some greater purpose in your life okay I feel like it's going to dramatically alter your life in a lot of ways mostly for the better okay but there are gonna be some big changes perhaps in you know the direction you're going or you know this could be a relationship that is going to teach you a lot all right about yourself about the world whatever so that's interesting guys and it kind of reminds me this is just a uh, personal like anecdote but i want to mention it because it reminds me of my godmother um she's an older woman you know she's the same age as my mom um, she has a biological daughter who is in her 30s um, you know she assumed that understandably she assumed that she was done you know really like with with parenting for the most part um, but a few years ago she found herself uh, taking in four, four children who needed a place to go, and uh, she has since adopted all of those children, and they're all, they're all in school, you know, they're all minors still, so it, it's, it really took her life in a completely unexpected direction, but it's really been kind of, you know, it's really been a, a blessing to her also in a lot of ways and to everyone around her, like, who knows them. So that's kind of the same vibe that I get uh, with these cards. So you may be in some type of similar situation. Um, anyway, finally, we are going to talk about your love cards. So the first one we have is Secret Admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. We have Retreat. Let go of control issues. 
and honeymoon so right away the vibe that I get from these cards is that five years from now you are I feel as though romance and relationships are not really going to be your focus um I do see the majority of you being single And, you know, you might be at a point in your life now where you're like, oh, I just want to, you know, find somebody that I can settle down with. Unfortunately, I don't really see that happening. I see you spending a lot of time just to, you know, keeping to yourself, spending a lot of time doing your own thing, you know. Um, I see you having let go of any real strong desire to find the right person for you and, you know, do that stuff. Um, for, 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 for some of you who will be having a biological child, I feel like this child's other parent is not really... I feel like this child's other parent is going to still be in the picture, but I don't really see you being in a relationship with them at this point. But I don't feel like that's going to be a bad thing necessarily. Um, and I kind of feel like it's going to be one of those deals where you're going to mutually agree that, you know, it would be better to kind of go your separate ways. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, with the honeymoon and the retreat cards being here, I see you guys, for the most part, just kind of keeping to yourself, doing your own thing. Um, however, I do see there being somebody in your life who's going to be very interested in you romantically, who you could potentially have a romantic future with, um, but you may not be fully aware of their feelings. Um, or you might be aware, but not really in a position where you are able to really reciprocate or, you know, pursue that person, pursue a relationship for whatever reason. I just get the impression that a lot of you guys are going to be quite busy a lot of the time. Uh, so that could be having something to do with it. Um, and whoever this person is, this, this new person that you may be involved with at, or, or starting to get involved with at this point, um, this tells me that you more than likely do not know them yet. You haven't met this person yet, okay? So, group two, that's really all the messages that I'm getting for you today. I hope this was uh, interesting, and I hope this resonated with you. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. This is, again, just for fun. It's also just general, so, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Um... Thank you for joining me, guys, and I hope that I see you next time. Bye! Okay, Pile 3. Let's see what is in store for you guys five years from now. So we're going to start off with your career and finance cards. We have three of those. We have Starseed. What lights you up? We have the answers you need are coming. And we have a time to give rather than take. So, right away, the energy that I get from these cards, I feel as though a lot of you, first of all, whatever you're doing career-wise, it's going to be something that you have been led to. It's going to be something that the universe has called you to do, okay? So, you may already be on this path. Some of you, others of you, you may not. You may not get this calling, uh, receive this calling until, you know, a little bit later. But it's going to be something that's going to just feel right to you. Something that you were really put here on this earth in this lifetime to do. Okay? And I get the impression that it's going to be something that is going to involve a lot of giving giving of information, giving of assistance, giving of 
answers for some of you. For some of you, you might be doing something like this, you know, you might be um, giving people like spiritual guidance or guidance in other kinds of ways, okay? For a number of you, I'm specifically seeing like a medical setting. So I'm seeing some of you being nurses or doctors of some some capacity, um, helping people in that way, you know, giving to people in that way. Um, helping people figure out what's wrong with them, <laughs> what their problem is. Um, so like, I feel for a lot of you, like a medical kind of energy, um, so nurses, doctors, that type of thing. But also for some of you, you know, spiritual, um, spiritual advisors of some, of some capacity or like life coaches or, you know, counselors or therapists or something like that. Some kind of position where you're going to be giving to other people a lot. You're going to be giving a lot of your energy to other people. But it's going to be something that's going to be satisfying to you and it's going to be you know what you're meant to be doing so you're going to feel good about it it's going to be i want to say it's going to be kind of taxing but worth it and enjoyable to you so you're probably going to be tired a lot but in a good way okay um let's take a look now oh also before we move on i want to say I'm seeing you guys being pretty financially successful. For most of you who picked this group, I do see you having like a dual income household. So you may well have a partner that is living with you um, at this point. However, we will talk more about that when we get to that uh, area. Um, but I do see... I mean, for most of you, I see a house, an older home perhaps, but like a single family house, not super big, but not tiny. I see a small yard. I see a sidewalk. I see you living in a relatively small kind of town in a, in a kind of historic district or area. And I also feel like some of you are going to be working mostly from home. So you may have a home office, you may have clients come to your home or something like that, or working near your home. So you may not have to commute very far to get to work. Um, and I just really see you living very comfortably Okay, so that kind of leads us into the uh, family cards. So for that, we have hindrance. Interesting, fate has blocked this path for you. We also have breathe. And we have between worlds. So these cards are meant to be about your family situation five years from now. So this is interesting because... Like I said, I see you having a lot of stability in your career, in your home life. I see things being quite peaceful for the most part. You know, this card is about peace, calm, serenity. It's also about meditation. So again, there's that kind of spiritual energy that I was talking about with some of you possibly being, you know, spiritual advisors or something like that. I think I want to get a clarifier for the hindrance card though because I'm not really sure what that's talking about just yet So this is kind of, this is interesting because this is kind of going into your love life situation as well. 
some of you have ideas, specific ideas right now about who you're going to create a family with, who you're going to settle down with, etc. Or maybe in the past, you know, you were thinking, I think this is the person that I want to do that stuff with. We have here the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. These cards are kind of similar, however, they're also different in a lot of ways. These two cards obviously are not counterparts. When counterparts appear in a reading, I usually see that as representing a couple or indicating a union happening. These two cards are not counterparts. They are not, they don't really go together. So I'm kind of seeing this as, you know, some of you, like I said, had or have this idea or a specific person in mind that you're thinking you want to have a family with. However, what these cards are saying is that that path could very well be blocked off for you. You may find yourself going down a different path with a completely different person. And they're telling me that that is going to be for the best because whoever it is that you may already have in mind, that, you know, that person is not the right fit for this purpose. Does that make sense? And for some of you, I feel as though you've already realized this and you're already letting go of whoever this other person is. And, um, but even if you haven't, I think you're, what they're saying is that you're going to find yourself feeling grateful that this particular person turned out not to be the one that you settled down with. Okay. Um, so if you are in a relationship currently and you're thinking, you know, this is the one, that, hmm. Here's the thing, though. I feel like I mean, for some of you, your current partner, you know, this is saying that your current partner may not be the one. However, for others of you, I do, th I, I think that this block, whoever this person is that, that's blocked, it's already happened. Which is kind of odd. So, take that however it resonates with you. Um, we also have Between Worlds. This card is about change, it's about transitions. Um, you may find yourself uh, five years from now in a position where you are possibly moving um, or getting ready to move or you recently moved. Um, this card is also talking to me about children. I feel like you're going to have two, two children by this point. Um, if you, so if you have none now, then probably you're going to be having two in the next five years. Um, one or two, one or two. If you already have two kids, then this is, this isn't saying that you're necessarily going to have more, okay? Um, but I am getting, it's interesting though that the number on this card is three. So for some of you, if you already have kids, you may have another one in the next five years. It's possible. Um, but I think for most of you, especially if you have not had children yet, or if you have maybe one, like a young child currently, this is telling me that you probably can expect to have maybe one or two more in this time frame. Okay. And finally, we're going to take a look at your love cards. We have true love, unrequited love, flirt, and new beginnings. 
A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So, like I said, I like I mentioned earlier with these cards, I feel like most of you are going to be living with a romantic partner at this point. So, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. You could, five years from now, very well be with your, you know, life partner. You could be married. You could be the whole nine yards. Um, new beginnings. This is... This is kind of talking to me more about this energy of change. So like I said, some of you could be in a position where you are going to be moving or there's going to be something, something changing about your day-to-day -day existence, you know, related to your home life. So, oh, okay. Oh, so, okay, this is kind of specific. So it's not going to apply to everyone. But some of you, they're saying five years from now, you're going to be pregnant or your partner is going to be pregnant or you're going to be um, preparing to add to your family in some capacity, okay? Um, that's what these two cards are talking about as well. Um, let's see. It is going to be exciting. I think you and your partner are both going to be very excited about it. So that's a good thing. You are also going to be with somebody that you're going to be able to have a lot of fun with. This is going to be somebody who, you know, you're going to have a very passionate, fun, just lighthearted relationship with. I think somebody that you're going to be able to trust a lot. Um, somebody that you're going to be able to be very open and honest with. Um, unrequited love is interesting because it's... I put it underneath of this card because I think they're talking about the same thing. It's possible that Okay, so I feel like a lot of you have someone in your in your heart or on your mind that you are probably separated from currently that you you know this may have been the person that you thought you were going to be with okay however it hasn't worked out so far and it's looking as though it's probably not going to work out in the future at least in this time frame and this unrequited love card is talking to me more about like gratefulness like you ultimately being able to thank spirit for putting someone different on your path. Thanking spirit for whoever this is, you know, not reciprocating your feelings or not, you know, putting the work in or, or whatever the case may have been. And like I said, I feel like a lot of you have already kind of moved on from whoever this person is. So it's interesting that this is coming up. It's possible that this person is some kind of like high level soulmate or something. So maybe, you know, this is saying like this person might still be on your mind at this point. But in the in the sense that you're going to be feeling, you're going to have accepted what's happened, you're going to be feeling grateful for what's happened. Even though you might be thinking now, like, I, how could I possibly be grateful for this person or what they did or what they didn't do? Um, but that's the message that I'm getting. Group three, this is probably my favorite one so far. Um, you guys seem to have a really beautiful um, five years ahead of you. Uh, so hopefully the years after that will be just as lovely. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this uh, resonated with you and I hope you enjoyed. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. I always like hearing from you guys. I hope that I see you next time. Bye! All right, pile four.
let's take a look first at your career and finance cards, uh, what your work and money situation is going to be looking like five years from now. First, we have the Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Next, we have Show the World the Real You. And a new romantic cycle begins. Okay. So these cards are talking about your work and finances. This card, it has the word romantic in it, a new romantic cycle. This, though, is not talking about relationships. This is talking about, I think, you guys possibly breaking into a new field, a new industry around this five five year mark. Um, and I feel as though it's going to be something that you're going to be feeling, you're going to be feeling led to. I feel like it's something that you are possibly already training for, somebody that, something that you're already potentially on the path to. I feel like whatever this is, it's a career, it's a field that requires a lot of preparation, a lot of education maybe. And for that reason, it could be something that you see it in a kind of romantic way, like something that you possibly fantasize about. You know, maybe you daydream about working in this field or having this type of job. Um, something that feels distant from you now, that you feel kind of removed from, and that's why it has that kind of romantic quality to it, but that in time, you know, with the right education and with the right amount of preparedness and, you know, networking and taking all the right steps, you will be able to get there. You've been training for this for lifetimes. This isn't really talking in this context about like, you know, literally preparing for lifetimes but this is saying that whatever this is it's going to be something that is going to take you a pretty significant amount of time to break into okay and like i said you may already already be working towards this so if you are hoping to work in a field or a position that is kind of lofty that's kind of you know difficult to get into um maybe a little bit inaccessible then this is probably what that 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 thing is probably what this is talking about. So this is uh, implying that you are eventually going to reach that goal that you have, okay? Um, show the world the real you. This is really talking about, it's talking about a completion of that journey, okay? And as a result of that completion, a new cycle beginning a new phase beginning for your career. Um, and I do see this being something very high paying for the most part. Um, and something kind of prestigious, possibly kind of, um, oh gosh. I keep I keep wanting to say like inaccessible like something that requires just a lot of work and effort and and maybe education to get into and it could be also one of those situations where you kind of have to know the right people as well so specifically I'm getting like marine biology um, so if that if that's your gig like leave me a comment I, I guess um, <laughs> things of that nature I know like that is a field that's difficult to get into because there's just not a lot of, um, at least as far as I know, there's not a ton of work there. You know, there's not a ton of uh, organizations that you can do that type of work with. So positions for that are kind of limited and things like paleontology and archaeology and stuff like that are kind of similar, you know, um, conservation, like, you know, zoology, that type of thing. It, they're all similar in that respect, so maybe your goal is something like that. Um, and if that's the case, I do see your hard work paying off. I do see you, you know, achieving that that goal, living out that, you know, romantic, idealized life. You know, 
in the uh, digging up digging up old pottery or dead people's bones or whatever whatever your goal is okay I see you I see you getting there okay it's not gonna be easy there's gonna be a lot of sweat involved but you will get there all right um, your family situation cards five years from now so kind of like your home and family life uh, the first card we have is love true love and fidelity that's promising we have yin and we have yang wow okay so this is really emphasizing like a partnership so I'm not really seeing any children in these cards, but I am seeing you being in a really strong, committed relationship, okay? This is, this is true love and fidelity. This is like faithfulness. This is loyalty. It's also interesting that we have yin and yang because these are counterparts. Yin is the divine feminine. Yang is the divine masculine energy. They have those associations. So it's very possible that five years from now, you are going to be in a relationship with your divine counterpart or, you know, a high level soulmate or something like that, um, which is exciting. And I see you, you know, having a home with this person, maybe not a home home, but at least an apartment. I'm seeing apartments for a lot of you, <laughs> group four, um, which which kind of makes sense given all of this focus that I'm seeing here on your career. Um, but anyway, so that's really what I have as far as your family slash home situation. Um, let's pull some cards for your love. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have a twin flame card. I told you. I just said your divine counterpart oh my god my brain is like short-circuiting right now give me a second <laughs> so we have the twin flame card coming out we have passion we have chemistry this these cards are about magnetism honey and we have love yourself first your twin flame your high level soulmate they kind of are you you are like two parts of the same thing. This is also talking about independence, self-sufficiency, self-love. Um, but in general, guys, this is freaking awesome. I can't even, like, I can't, I can't. There is a lot of emphasis here on partnership. So, you know, this is a relationship that's going to be very passionate, a lot of chemistry, physical chemistry, but also, you know, something where you're just going to fit together so perfectly because you are the same. You're like two halves of the same soul or whatever. Some of you have already met this person. Some of you have not. For a lot of you, I feel like this is going to be somebody who actually works within your field or in a similar kind of field or position. So that's interesting. Oh my god, excuse me. I'm disgusting. Um, anyway, this is really cool, guys. This is really cool. <laughs> okay. I, see, I see a lot of happiness and contentment and you really like taking the next steps towards the next phase of your life at this point so i don't see you having you know children or anything at this five year mark but i do see that happening you know i see a lot of potential for that happening later down the road okay I just kind of feel like you guys aren't going to have time because of all the uh, attention you're going to be putting on your career and stuff in this this relationship, which looks awesome. And I, <laughs> I just, I don't even have anything else to say. There's not really anything else to say. It's kind of, I mean, these cards really speak for themselves. So I, I might as well just quit now. So, <laughs> um... 
Group four, you guys have a really awesome five years ahead of you, it looks like. And I'm very happy for you. Congratulations. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I can't... There's nothing else for me to add. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope I see you next time, group four. Finally, we're going to talk about group five. Okay. So... Group five, we're going to start off with your career and finance cards, what you can expect to be going on on that front uh, five years from now. We have Leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. We have Luck is on your side, and we have, look at the bigger picture. So we have two Sagittarius cards, so a lot of you guys might be Sagittarians who picked this group, um, or just... You know, have that kind of energy, have that kind of vibe. Um, what I'm getting here is that you guys are entrepreneurs, you are independent thinkers, you are people who want to work for yourselves, you don't want to work for the man. I mean, nobody really does, but like, more than most people, you don't want to work for the man. Um, I feel like you guys have a lot of ideas and maybe in the past you have you know you started projects but maybe never finished them or maybe they didn't turn out like you expected maybe you didn't see the amount of success that you wanted to um but what i get here is that five years from now you will be on the path to huge success with something that you have created. So some of you might be getting a patent on something, I don't know. Others of you, you know, you might be, if you're a creative type, maybe writing a book or something like that, um, starting your own business, some kind of independent project, something that you are gonna be working on that you might even be in the beginning stages of now that you're going to be working on and really pouring your heart and soul into at this five year mark i'm seeing you guys really um like the fruits of your labor being like happening for you like you guys being able to see the reward for all of your hard work up until that point you know what I'm saying? So like I said, this could be some kind of creative project, this could be a small business, you know, startups, whatever the case. Um, I just see you really working for yourselves, making a lot of money on something that you created, that you built from the ground up. Something that it might be a little bit scary at first, you know, pouring, putting all of your focus and all of your attention onto it. Um, because you may be, you may end up at a place where you have to make a choice between investing all of your time and effort into this project and, you know, ensuring financial security. Does that make sense? So you may be faced with the decision to either you know, commit to the project full time or, you know, keep your day job and kind of waste away or <laughs> whatever. Um, but this is saying like, you're going to take that leap. You need to take that leap. If you don't take that leap, then what, what's the point? The universe is going to catch you. It's all going to be okay. You just got to trust and have faith that you are capable of doing this. Don't get hung up on the details. Just do it. Um, because spirit is on your side. And, you know, if you have, if you have tried something like this before and failed, you know, odds are the more, the more you try, the more likely you are to succeed. Because, you know, statistically statistics and all of that i don't know i don't i don't know math um but you know what i'm saying right um so 
that's what I have for you guys as far as your career and finance situation. I do see you guys maybe not being super financially successful at the five year mark, but I see you getting there. I see you taking the first steps to getting there. And I do think that later down the road, you guys are going to be very, very financially stable, have like, probably get like more money than you're going to know what to do with. Um, so there's that. Um, the next cards that we have are about your family and home situation five years from now. So this could be talking about children, your home life, whatever. Uh, the Harlequin, True Feelings Are Masked, we have Serendipity Reversed, and we have Happy Happy. So, Happy Happy, this card's pretty self-explanatory. It talks about happiness, contentment, you know, wish fulfillment, having everything that you need. I do see you having relationships that are fulfilling to you and satisfying to you. Serendipity Reversed is interesting because this card kind of talks about, like, you know, sometimes we feel as though something is just meant to be. You know, something is, like, like a relationship, for example. Like, this is the person that I'm meant to be with forever. And it doesn't turn out that way. And then we're left wondering, like, what was the point of that? And, and this card is really a message that the point of that was to teach you something. The point of that was, you know, to, to help you become better. A better version of yourself to help you learn some some important lesson so it's interesting that this card is coming out here with the harlequin true feelings are masked i want to pull out some clarifiers for these cards we have the four of cups the wheel of fortune and justice Mm. Okay. So this is kind of sad, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, what I'm getting here is that as far as your family and home situation is concerned, you're going to be projecting this energy of contentment, but I think in reality, you're going to be feeling more like the Four of Cups, disappointed, apathetic. Um, and that, for some of you, could be the result of a relationship not quite working out like you hoped it would. That could be a relationship coming to an end, even, because we do have the Wheel of Fortune, which is cycles. You know, it's endings and new beginnings. Um, this could also be, and, and justice, you know, justice represents legal matters, so it could be a divorce, <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, just some kind of, some kind of familial relationship or situation coming to an end, not working out the way you hoped, not working out the way you planned, and you feeling bad about that because you thought it was, you know, you maybe thought it was meant to be, it was meant to happen. So I see you, you know, putting on a happy face for the world, but inside feeling kind of devastated so that's kind of heavy and you know I, I, I can't really get more specific than that because I feel like this these cards are representing so many different s scenarios for all of you so I don't really want to go into too much detail um, but you know like I said it could be relationships ending it could be for some of you an inability to, you know, have a child or difficulty having a child. Um, it could be a falling out with a close family member, something like that. Okay. Those are the types of things that I'm getting from these cards. Um, so lastly, we have your love cards. So we have let your friends help you. We have give your relationship a chance trust and transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so
for some of you, I'm getting two distinct situations here. For some of you, this is going to be someone that you're friends with, a good friend of yours, approaching you, making you some kind of love offer, you giving a relationship with this person a chance, choosing to trust this person, choosing to kind of take a leap of faith with this person and say, you know what, um, I feel like this could work out in a romantic way. So let's just give it a try, okay? That's what this transformation is talking about. For others of you, this is a romantic relationship coming back to life. So this is like someone from your past, like you and them giving it a second chance, okay? Choosing to trust that, you know, you've been put back on each other's paths, you've been, you know, placed uh, in, in the same, in the same, uh, where am I going with this? Um, you know what I'm saying. You're, you've been brought back together, and so the two of you deciding, okay, we're going to give this another shot. Um, so I feel like it'll probably be one of those two scenarios for you guys. Either a friend, a friendship evolving into a romantic relationship or a romantic relationship that ended being restored okay so um group five that's a pretty straightforward vibe that i'm getting from those cards um that's what i have for you today i hope this was interesting and i hope it resonated with you um although it's kind of hard to tell when we're talking about like the future anyway whatever um thank you so much for joining me today i hope that i see you next time guys Remember, these aren't just general readings, so take everything I say with a grain of salt, and remember to, above all else, just have some fun. We're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye!